Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to King's Cup 2. We just King's had... Yeah! We just had... Two. I think that's how the intro goes in the morning. So Something like that. They had a voice actor or something to do with those, some professional. So. He sounded pretty good. He did sound really good. Unlike my peasant wizard. Anyway, continue. I watched, I watched that announced like a couple of times, and I'm still laughing. Yeah, yeah, it kills me every time. time. Tiniest hand of Grand Grant. Rat of an <laughs> It's a slimy old wizard, that lad. Oh, I tell a, you what. He's a dirty lizard. Uh, dirty oh, lizard okay, wizard. Or lizard wizard. So we're back. Uh, we have uh, all ten. Oh, there he is. There's uh, my wizard. Oh. Hi. Look at yeah. me. I'm on camera, ma'am. He crawled out of the dungeon. That is what he sounds like. You're not wrong. Perfect. Perfect. This pleases the king. Uh, more things that please the king would be the status of my lobby. We've 10 out of 10. Beautiful. That's what Yet I like to hear. We, we, uh, we do not have a game. We're just waiting 60 seconds for the for the Spanish caster. Okay. Man, so this, this admin. Is it is it Zexorus again? It's Zexorus. Zexorus. Dude, this guy. It's Zexorus. I like how he does... All the chat. No one's writing anything. I love the it. The game will begin in two minutes. He yep. says, I say need she seconds. doesn't love you to slot in. Yeah. Who is this she doesn't love you? Probably a caster. Somebody doesn't love somebody, that's for sure. No, that's, yeah, that's fair. Th that's this life. admin has been doing an amazing yes, job. Yes, very good. Like very good job. Blaze, good. Blaze Underling. Exactly. You know? That's what happens when Blaze trains you. Is there a better admin than Blaze? Well, I mean, I mean, Blaze. There's, there's the, Andre. Okay, are there okay. I, I guess there's I should a, say, there's are there's there, there's are there people? Blaze is clearly on the tier I mean, one of admining. Yes, yes. Blaze, fabulous admin, but there's no one who really quite reaches the level of Andre. Andre. So is Andre tier one, and Blaze is tier two, or is it tier one point five? It's like Blaze is tier one, but Andre is like god tier. It's okay. kind of like there's no. It's not fair. To have to try and compare him to anyone else. Because the man, I don't know how he did it. He somehow was adminning like four regions at once. Didn't even sleep. I think he had like notifications on his phone when he gets Steam messages. So he's like, uh, he'd like wake up in a stupor and be like, yes, that is correct. And he's never made a single mistake. How can, how can people not sleep? I don't know. I need sleep. I finally adjusted my sleep schedule. Did I you? I know you've been suffering. 7 a.m. finally. Hey. I was waking up at 3 or 4 a.m. every single That's day. That's good. I yeah, I come out. Days. You were all like fresh, shower, ready to go. It's like <laughs> it's like seven thirty. We don't stay for a while. You guys ready? It's like, dude, it's like three hours until we I'm go live for four hours <laughs> <laughs> alone. So we have we have the draft. Oh my goodness! She's on the screen. She just popped on there. The the spell from the previous uh, the previous game was just so powerful that it mm. came came back around. Um, and we have we have the draft. So taking out the silencer, taking out the ogre. Oh. No. Bands seemingly targeted towards the previous game. We're going to get a Moo Drow game, I can tell. I, I'm feeling it right now. now. On their first showing, Braxton, I they looked super sick. They did. They looked True. really good. I, I think that's the type of players they are, though, to be totally honest, that they're like very hit or miss, where they're either really on and everything's going right, or they're uh, griefing. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's uh, just, you know. I'm surprised that... They banned Tiny. I thought they were going to ban Io. Or Terrorblade, maybe. But Th 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 That's what I would think, too. Terrorblade, I mean, Moo has been playing that in almost every single game that he can. Every game that he plays it, he farms even if his team is feeding. Uh, Pugna against Wisp. Not a huge fan of that, but I know you're a big fan of the little green skeleton. So. A fan of Pugna. Yeah, I know why you don't like Pugna. I'll, I'll name it. You ready? Okay. You owe me five bucks if I get it correctly. Because when he uses the Cryptify, he doesn't slow him down. Correct. Correct. All right. So, so yeah. Five dollars. Give me th those five dollars. What? 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 <laughs> what did I agree to? I didn't agree to anything. That if I get it correctly, what you're thinking? Why you don't uh, like Pagna against the IO? Oh. Oh, we couldn't hear because your mic was a little mic, far away. Yeah. yeah, that was. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Now you can chastise him. Thank you. You still owe me though. Okay. That sounds good. Okay. I think the. I, I think. I mean, Pagna is just a pretty well-rounded hero in general. Can push towers. He's one of the few heroes who's like super low committal to towers. So if you take a Pugna even out of a losing lane and you just run him out some towers, like as long as you win one lane and the Pugna has levels, you'll you'll just take towers. It's 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 so free. Like one of the best things about Dota is that you have heroes that just take a mechanic that you need to focus on. It's like yeah, that's not a mechanic anymore. Pugna really does not need to care about committing to towers at all. You don't need any tower damage on your team if you have a Pugna, uh, despite him being an off laner. And he doesn't really need he doesn't really need anything. 
huge in order to do that tower damage. A lot of other heroes, they need levels. They need farm. He kind of needs levels, but honestly, you max the nuke always first, so he could be a support. He'd still do tower damage. Right. That, that's like my favorite thing about this hero. And then the ward in team fights is... I'm just happy to see Earthshaker again. I feel like that hero's been doing very well. Yeah. Um, Throw most of King's Cup. Had some great games. I think Boris probably had the roughest game uh, in one of their matches, I feel like. Uh, yeah. Yes, with the... Yeah, that was a, that game had issues, but other the, than that, the, yeah, that that it's hard to judge those games because if it feels like that was a bit of a, they are either crumbling and they're gonna disband or kick somebody, or they're going to come back with full force, like having Ten talked about it. You know, you have like a you know you have like a pep talk, you <laughs> practice a little bit, you look at the games, like you you just I don't know, you come back, um, but that was like one of those crumbling games. Ooh, what was that What's sound? That sound? <laughs> what? Oh, that? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. That was just me enjoying my uh, my monster beverage here, my vanilla light. It's a Java blend. It's I'm, I'm going <laughs> it's with just the, so I'm, delicious. I'm going with the Monster Energy Zero Ultra. Oh. And, uh, it, it oh, okay. The the crazy thing about this drink is that it tastes like it ha it tastes like it's candy. It tastes right. like it's sugar. It tastes got like sugar candy. It. it doesn't have any sugar in it whatsoever. Wow. It's unreal. That's no amazing. sugar. Science no, is awesome. No calories. You know, we actually unironically did talk about this. Science is. <laughs> It's it's crazy that this has no sugar in it, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what happened actually? Is I had a wizard who tried this on me. He tried to give me a no. Oh, this is the zero sugar drink, and then he just got uh, dispelled to a dungeon. But we'll talk more about him later. It's I fine. Don't, I don't know about that. And Axe being banned out against Io. I mean, with the Io, they played it a couple of times so far. Just the uh, creep skipping. Io gives you the ability I to dive the tower that. with all his I heal. Centaur as well. Like th these are one of the best pairings you can get with the IO. We don't see too much of a gyro IO anymore, but uh, it was like so boring to watch IO gyro every single game. Now, again, it's I want to see it in a game or two. Yeah, you know, a little bit of variety. It's pretty nice. Uh, I think th the Bane being in the first phase is, mm -hmm. it's it, it just, it, it always that second phase, man. I know I went ham about this in the, la in the last, uh, I think it was the last game, the last series that we saw Wisp. Yeah, yeah. Everybody is just first phasing this Bane because they know that otherwise they're not going to get it, which means that a hero like Gyro, while it's not banned, is, I mean, actually, Gyro's still good. I would like to see Gyro. They, they lost the Centaur, though, which I actually, I think is even almost more important than the Gyro because I think Centaur works really well with the IO with the, the whole damage reduction stacking. And uh, it's pretty good against Pugna because you can chase him down and just stop him from being on the back line. Really the good with the Bane, stuff. too, because yeah. you can set up. Yeah, Bane is back. You know why Bane is back? Because Good. other support heroes were nerfed, even though Bane was nerfed before, so there's no Venge anymore, and uh, Bane was always good at trading hits, and uh, yeah. suddenly he's back. There was a one era where Bane was pretty much picked every single time, first pick or banned out. Yeah, it's also the fact that like this Ogre, Silencer, Wyvern, these heroes are being first phase banned now. It's it's crazy to see that you know we live in a time where these kind of versatile support heroes are the ones getting banned rather than these like specialty uh, kind of more cheesy heroes like you know Drow, Huskar, maybe like an axe pick if you've an axe player. There's just like an ogre being banned. That Bane's belly looks like Aegis. Yeah it's got the little tendrils coming it in. It does yeah. Deal. Pur like purple Aegis. Yeah. I, I, I didn't notice Do that Do you think before. he has a belly button? I didn't believe you until You're you just welcome. told me. You're yeah. welcome. Thank you. Do do all Dota heroes other Dota heroes with belly buttons? All the humanoids have belly buttons, probably. I mean, you can't assume that though. Well, I don't know who um, whose belly I mean, can you see. If you're not a mammal, you don't have a is belly there, button. Is there any bellies that we can see? Let's let me go ahead and check the hero list. Well, I don't know. Is you Bane a mammal? Tr trolls Doesn't look like one. Oh, you can't see trolls belly. He has got <laughs> nice big abs though. Look oh, he's those. got some solid abs. Oh, he is ripped. He's a meat house. He has a twelve pack. All right, this mm -hmm. is uh, they, they're still Terrorblade. Hmm. They're committing hard on side of Braxton into those uh, tower pushes. Yeah. Jakiro, Pugna. Is that going to be a mid Jakiro and then like an offlane Pugna sort of thing? Maybe they're going to go full, complete Remain. push strat. I think it's just five Jakiro because all the other fives are banned out. Oh, well, yeah. Maybe Pugna or Shaker offlane. That's but it's true. That's a definite possibility. It is very possible, though. So they should pick up uh, Morphling right now for M and Z. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> the instant. Doesn't look like a instant timber good counter game. to come. Yeah, I don't think timber saw counters morphling like at all. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm totally Phantom totally wrong assassin. about this. Phantom, Phantom assassin. assassin. That's that's quite a different hero. If he wants to play hmm. ballsy as all hell with Phantom assassin, you know he's 
definitely a hero that you can do that with. Although I'm not completely sure about picking PA the into Brew. Brew. Yeah. You have all the mischance coming from the Aura, yeah. you have the mischance coming from the Drunken Haze. You're playing and then against Bane and then Bane. Feeble at yeah. one point. He just enfeebles you. If you look at the stats on, like, if you go into a practice lobby and you give k hero carry heroes the items that they would have in, like, the super late game, minus rapiers, PA is one of the lowest damage dealing carries. She actually doesn't do a lot of damage with the items that you probably want to go on her, like, Basher. You know, like, Battle the Fury BKB, Battle Fury, right. Uh, and, and and that's why the Enfeeble is so strong against her. You, you, you're you reducing a hero that kind of her whole shtick is like, aha, I crit you in one hit, so you're dead. Rather than, you know, being able to abuse the regen or, or coming in and out of a fight or maybe... Uh, you know, Bane using Enfeeble or something like that. But but if if you get the Enfeeble off on the PA, which is quite easy with the with the uh, distance at which Bane can cast it in the late game, it's it's just this hero is going to feel really useless. And then the Ember Spirit being picked up, we saw the Ember Spirit getting shredded by PA in previous games. So that was more of like a throw. We also saw the Ember Spirit in the mid game completely annihilating the uh, the Phantom Assassin with the magic damage. Is mm, this kind of looks like a CK game? Do you guys think? The PA without like the clear early on. Uh, maybe you can't fight in time of your CK. I think that would need some kind of a tower damage. Anything for J Storm. I mean, like yeah, Amber it's Trin, true. Brewmaster, main IO, they literally do zero damage. Yeah, until like 25. Dire team pick. They're gonna ban the Brood. That's a good ban. Uh, I mean, although they do have Brew and Ember, they could get two stouts on Ember, and it actually does very well against the Brood Mother. Uh, let's see. There is think about like I O C K is not even that good anymore. Let's say a Dragonite. What about an Alk? Lena is pretty good against Ember and Lane, I know. Uh they could take an Ursa too and go against the Ember. Although then you could run just dodge. You could dodge and run the yeah, the brew in the mid the brew in the mid lane and then it would do very well. I I like Alchemist here, guys. You like Alchemist? Safe lane Ember, run some Alk. Oh, you mean for J-Storm? Yeah, let's I, it up, baby! I'm not a huge fan of picking Alk if you don't have last pick. Alk it up! Because then they have a response pick that you could just completely counter the Alk, or you could Boo. you could, you could get some really aggressive... They want some excitement. Your king wants to be pleased. With Alk? Alk excites you? I mean, we haven't seen him. It, it gets boring when you see him every game, but, we, you know, I like the guy. I was just thinking earlier about how I felt like handing out some agonims, you know? Being a benevolent king and whatnot that yeah, I Yeah, that's am. true. Let's see. Gyro, okay. Boring! There you go, Lacoste. All right. There's the gyro. So they banned the PL instead, which made my thought process be like, oh, okay, they kind of understand that the gyro gets picked up, they have a PA, and so you jump on them, and it kind of blows up the gyro. It's not that big of a deal, but they still obviously feel confident enough, and this is Jay Storm, that this is the best pick for them. Yeah, it's just so good with the Wisp. It's yeah. it's like it's like the classic with the Bane, uses the Nightmare. Fe Nightmare one person, Fiend's Grip another person. Brew goes in, starts the fight. Ember uses his travels. He gets there. Gyro Wisp come in. No matter where you are, you're going to have the global presence of these heroes. And one thing, actually, is that the Brewmaster, when he uses the Split to start a fight, the Ember can just travels in, and uh, the Gyro Io can relocate in. So they pick a TA. That is absolutely insane. Into Ember Spirit. Into Ember Gyro. Going if, for a very specific timing. What if they just wisp gyro mid and dump on the TA in the laning phase and then destroy the TA outside of the laning phase because they have Ember and Gyro? What happens then? Like This doesn't look like a good Phantom Assassin nor Templar Assassin yeah, game. All, all they needed was the Nyx Assassin. It would be, a, yeah, then Pugna mid, maybe. No, I meant for for them to have a triple assassin. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well, I thought I thought I, I'm, try, I'm, I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt here. Uh, our PA in TA be a good play by play. It, it did work last time we had it, right? Was it um, J Storm that played it? I feel like complexity. Ah, uh, it was Cole. Did With they the win that game? J yeah, they had Jo on PA. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And limp and on limp, the TA. Limp TA, and it was, I think it was a comeback, bit of a comeback. Yeah, you know what Dota taught me? How to spell assassin correctly. Assassin. Yeah. Yeah. You know, whenever I t try to get an assault cuirass, I just type an ass into the search bar for items. Yeah, it makes you chuckle a little bit. Like <laughs> It does make me chuckle a little bit. But, but usually what happens is I type it in impulsively, and then I'll look up like five minutes later. It's like, why is there ass in my search? <laughs> well, I know why it's in my Google searches, but not in, <laughs> you know, not, not in the item searches. Do you have rapier on your quick buy? Is that you? Maybe. Yeah, yeah you do. Maybe I do. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> yeah. It's in case I need to purchase it in a, in a quick moment. You know, you're about to die. You want to... You don't want to lose that reliable gold. Right, so you want right. to get the butt implants. Butt implants? Yeah. I think I'm Nicki Minaj? I don't know. You're searching ass in, in Google. Well, yeah, dude. Not for... 
well, <laughs> I don't want to get into it. But <laughs> Thank what, you. But what I do want to get Thank into you play by play. is this game. Oh, wait a minute. We're already in the – it hasn't started yet. Okay, I keep doing this. But we need to go from the draft. <laughs> Production was not happy production. with that one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's not happy. God they didn't damn. like that. That was vis some visceral stuff coming out of production. You guys, glad you can't hear that. Well, as you can hear, though, the uh, the war drums are starting. They so. are starting. So, uh, uh, and what else is going to be starting is the game. Okay. And we're going. How are you gonna How are you gonna send it? Because you kind of look like you're wearing like a oh God, some sort of Shakespearean or thing or something. Well, I don't know what. I'm done. I'm done with the rhyming. Oh, Lacoste can't see. That's an issue. Can you see those little holes, maybe? Yeah, I can, but I need to adjust my head. Can he be heard? I can't. I can't hear him. Yes, I can. <laughs> All right, oh, enough, of, us, enough yes. of these ugly mugs. We are ready to go into the game. No special dances or tricks required. I I take pity upon you. I've already punished a wizard. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Oh. We're paused. We're paused. Turns out. Want to see how the pros play? You can check out many of the Dota 2 tournaments, such as King's Cup 2, taking place around the world, and you might learn a few new tricks for your favorite hero. Go ahead and put that on the screen there, just so you guys can. Oh, it's not. Well, wow, that's a that's a really nice tip on the the pause screen there. Yeah, it's uh, it's good to watch replays. Do you guys oh, do you guys you just go. watch replays, or you, you just you watch so much Dota in a day that you just can't watch? I would rather play one more game or just watch someone else play. Then I don't watch my own replays. Oh, then wa then watching your own replays. Yeah. It's pretty tedious. It's pr it's pretty it's pretty hard to watch your own replays because it's like, well, God, I I suck. I suck. Yeah. Yeah. It it's uh it's definitely painful. I mean. If you want to get better at the game, if you, you should better. definitely watch replays, yeah. see so how many mistakes you make. Yeah. Because you're not aware of them. I played yeah. perfectly, I need to blame my team. That's actually not not it. Just check how many last hits you miss. It's a uh, one 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 little tip about watching replays I have for the viewers at home. Oh, you're a replay expert. I am a replay expert. Is that if you if you want to watch your own replays, the first thing that you need to do is actually form an opinion about the game. This is something that Loomden taught me. This is not okay. So uh, and and I when he when, when he taught me that when I learned a few principles, you know, my MMR went up quite a bit. But f but what I did for a long time was I I would watch replays without a, an idea of what I was actually looking for. And it, it felt so boring right? because I was just seeing things yeah, from my own bias and it wasn't – there's no way to improve then. You know, it's like Dun Dunning-Kruger. You don't know that you're stupid if you're stupid. You know, <laughs> you have to form an opinion that's yeah. different about the game Somebody than how you play. Everybody. Right? Yes. And then you watch the replays. So in order to do that, you got to – you know, you got to watch tournaments, got to watch pro replays, got to watch pros <laughs> play, uh, maybe even uh, – you know, check out. Just trend, don't trend listen to us, right? Don't listen to no, us. No, don't listen God, to us. No. Absolutely not. No, you watch yeah. the player perspectives, yeah. and then you watch your own replays and see what the difference is between those two things. That's what you, you need to have the compare That's and contrast. Bizarre. Biggest mistake I see people make is they do not compare and contrast those replays. <laughs> oh goodness, we seem to be dropping some players here, guys. First, they started coming back on the Radiant, and then uh, they all started popping off on the Dire. Let's see. Is the coordinator... Oh, it's 7.20. That's oh it. The update my God. is coming. Here we go. What am I reading? Pudge hook Pudge reverted hook. cooldown 11 seconds oh, on all Double levels. the range. What? I actually just got a, I just dug out my phone. I'm not going to lie. I thought you guys were serious. <laughs> so sad. I was like, oh, yeah, maybe, maybe that is today. Hi. Lincoln Sphere removed from the game. Uh, that, that does deserve some applause. Uh, well, looks like now it's Jason. We're having a couple problems there. The yeah. old Dados. Looks like it. Some classic stuff happening here. A J Storm. What are they missing? Just, uh, just the panda now. That is Forev on the panda. I think he's known to have some uh, bowel issues and stuff like that. So probably taking the time to. To you know, kind of reset that that sort of uh, part of his of his uh, being. Perfect. Oh, look at this demon! He's using his experience. Donde esta biblioteca? Are you at the library? That is. Is that what that means? Is that sounds like French? That sounds like French. Are we gonna go to the library or what you said? Not sure, but that uh, that's the pretty much the first words you learn when you learn Spanish. The library? Yeah. Now did this phrase, donde esta? Biblioteca. King Te King Teca. Oh now Forev's computer died. Goodness. King of the King of the Library. 
Uh, Demon would like to give his boy Banana Slam Jamma a shout out. Thank you Ooh, for the music. That's nice. That's some beautiful music. What do you want? Is that is that harp? The harp player? I've just got my lyre player back there. My leer. Leer. Oh. Yes. Ah, yes. That mm. is wonderful. I had a mandolin, but, uh, you know. After a rough game, you just nice threw it at a wall. It. Yeah, yeah, it was really bad. Did uh, somebody steal one of your D awards? Is that what happened? I've yeah. seen I've seen him. How annoying is that? Like, you... He does if it. I allow you, you can take what, how my board. But how if he, I don't you say how, anything, just don't take it. Do you, do I know. You, do you mean I how know. how annoying is it that a support is greedy and doesn't doesn't sacrifice himself for the greater good of the game? Yeah, pretty annoying. Now I'm, I'm gonna start ideas? buying a quelling blade. Yeah, that's what I did. He did do that. I did. I had to buy <laughs> a quelling blade. He kept stealing all my wards. He had a quelling. Uh, you know, and sometimes you just play games and you have uh, griefing supports that wish their carry carries die, so they get some last hits. Stealing wards, which are should be bestowed upon the you know highest uh, farm priority hero in the game. This music's lovely. Why don't we just have this all the time? Oh, hi there. Oh, there we are. Oh, wow, this is a pretty smart strat. Wow. Look Damn, production us. leveling up here, so you can still watch the the beauty of the all chat, but still see us in our wonderful set here. You know that is not a set because it's, it's a castle. Jimmy just throwing the random words or what? Yeah, I think a little bit, yeah. He does this. I, I, he does this in games. Ah. This is why I have him voice muted and not text muted. So that way I can see these uh, lovely poems that he writes in uh, in Spanish or French or whatever it is. Is there any French-speaking South American countries? I don't, I don't know. So. I'm sure there, there is. is. There's so there's many French. There's, there's so many French. Yeah, there's so many, there's so many French countries. I just don't know any of them. South I don't right. think they really made their way across the Atlantic. They they kind of went all in on that whole Quebec area. Didn't work out too well. They did. That did French, was not good French Guyana, Fr French Guyana, Gina, Guayana, Guyana. Is that it? Yeah. We're so uncultured. Uncultured swine. Well, I have a geography degree. So. <laughs> that is true. You know, I don't mean to brag, uh, but yeah. you know, it comes in handy sometimes. Should see me driving on that freeway. Slaying it. Do they speak French there? Um, I don't think so. On the freeway? <laughs> they speak French on the yeah, freeway? They, yeah, they do. That would explain everyone yelling at us. Cameroon? They speak French? It's an official language. Do they? Yeah. Thank you. You must have a geography degree. You, you know what the thing is? They tell you in Canada, they're like, French is so important. And you're like, okay, all right, I'm Canadian. I'll accept. Yeah, yeah better learn French. But then you, you get older, and it's like, you go to Quebec, you speak with a French accent or with with an English Dude. accent, and they'll hate you for it. Yeah. So you're just like, I'm never win. speaking French again. You can't win. No. And then you get older, and then you realize there's so many French-speaking countries that it actually would have been a, a value to me to, to not skip out of French class and go home and watch back at the barnyard uh, with my friend. Tu ne coûte pas dans les cours. Yeah, je m'appelle Jenkins. Quand c'était Tom pour le français. Oh, bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, Can uh, you ask to go to the bathroom? That was the, that was the first one. Voulez-vous à la <laughs> toilette? Est-ce que je peux aller aux toilettes, s'il vous plaît? Come on now, guys. I'm the worst Canadian, to be honest. I, I can't French, do the accent anymore. Is French official in Canada? Yeah. Yes. We are officially bilingual. Every, everything in Canada has to have English and French, like, labeling. So, like, you buy some craft dinner at home. It's got English, KD. Oh, yeah, you French can't sell KD. there unless there's English no, and French no, you labeling. Oh, it's just me now. Just the king, yes. Forget about them. Yes, no, no, come back. Yes. yes, good. Just me and my trusty knight there upon the table. That, oh. that horsey. He works so hard. Oh, my wizard. Uh, yes. Ah, oh, he was so kind. <laughs> oh, yes, there. hello. Yes, wow. thank you. Uh, oh, he's gone. Where'd he go? Uh, your, your king the, is tired. The, ah, the wizard casted a teleportation spell on our oh, king. Oh, look at the admin kicking in. Storm has five, five minutes. minutes. Damn, dude, this this guy really is a mini Blaze. Blaze is brutal. Shout out to E Blue, our land cafe. It was an amazing experience in Toronto. I know, I know, Mario just hit up the land cafe. Look at these shout outs. That's so nice. Shout out to my mom's house. Is he at his mom's? Hey, your mom's house doesn't sponsor King's Cup Moo. I don't know. Quit it. He has a cat, right? I don't know if my mom wouldn't let me have a cat if I was living there. She'd be like, no, Not you're, cool. You're getting out of here. <laughs> Oh, there I am. Hey. <laughs> hey that, oh, who's that lovely lady? That's Aiden? me. I'm on the TV, oh, wow. Mom. Look. She's beautiful. 
Oh, that's, oh, goodness gracious, that's me. You know, I actually look like my mother in a lot of her pictures when she's younger. I do, you know. I'm my, I'm my mother's son, they say. That's beautiful. My my brother looks like my dad. Very Oh, oh, oh there he is. Wow, that's a beautiful maiden as well. <laughs> Shout out to Moo. Moo is a great uh dancer, actually. At, at the after parties, Moo tears it up, man. I Does was he? surprised how handsome Moo is. Oh actually. man, Moo. After Woo! he got rid of the beard. Yeah. No, like looks like really I don't know. I like so the beard because he like kind of baby face. He kind of looks like Jesus, so I feel like. Oh, there we are. There's okay. <laughs> the beard, and see, this is move before he shaved, and that's move after he shaved. No, oh, that's totally accurate. opposite. Totally opposite. <laughs> You're missing my point. I said that he looks good after he oh, shaved. Come oh, come on. Sorry. Okay. What? The? <laughs> that guy doesn't look like Jesus. I don't like that. <laughs> yep. Jenkins, you look like you could be a character from Black Adder. You really do. <laughs> <laughs> I, you, you watch Black Adder? Yeah, I love it. All that right, show. dude. Do you know what Black Adder is? Uh, I do. Yes. Oh, really? It's I haven't seen it all, though. But I've There's seen it. There's only four seasons. I was, I was surprised that they put it on a, on an airplane. Like, on one of the rides, I had it here. Not sure which uh, which airline was it. Black Adder is What is this? We're, we're actually playing Dota. Here we are. Oh, thank goodness. That was good. That was quite a lot of filling we were doing. What? Jenkins, this is your last series, <laughs> right? Yeah, seriously. You need to hype it okay, up, Okay, okay. So, we have... Quiet down, wizard! Demon March and Moo marching down the bottom lane. Looks like they're going to run into a dragon. Mid lane, Brow pops down a ward, but so does Draken. They don't see each other because Draken does it from the trees, and he did it after Brow, so... No ward's going to get dewarded today. On the top lane, Tekka drops a ward. Barely out of the deep tower. Ward. Oh yeah, that's a deep, deep I ward. I don't know how you play this game as TA and have uh, Naga Sirens chat wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Did sound a little bit like Naga, didn't it? Oh my God, these chat wheels, dog. I mean, this is a like gold TA, guys. I mean, look at this Ember. Doesn't even have Dota Plus, so. Oh, look at the really, who who are you gonna go with? Riddle me that. Brile, no Dota Plus. He's got a sweet set though. I love that Ember set. Big fan. That's the Envy set, I think. God damn! What are we? I gonna don't see even recognize the Ember set. They just glow. He even has the rapier too. What do you mean, just glow? That one's got like sandy dust. He's got like a little hood thing going are, on. It looks like he's like playing some Skyrim. The rapiers aren't Envy though, are they? They're not. Right? No, no, no. The rapiers okay, are just okay. their own thing. Because the rapiers being on a, an Envy set would make a lot of sense. Uh, it truly would. But if you click on Ember Spirit's items, okay, you we'll can check who gifted it. Okay. Right? Wizard. Yeah. The, the <laughs> right ones, the hat, and the shoulder one. Oh, that, no, the shoulder no. ones. Sh click on the shoulder one. He's he's making words appear. He's got a heart. Oh, that's nice. Tilto dildo, I think, is what he's trying to get you to highlight. Congratulations. Thank it's you. Well right. done, Lacoste. No, <laughs> he <laughs> already hit it several <laughs> times. <laughs> well done. You're going to miss first blood here, guys. Okay. Come on. Focus. On the t mid lane. TA getting low. Has a salve coming out on the courier. Ryle salve coming out a little bit earlier. Let's see what's going on in these lanes. They predicted the lanes right. If you're J-Storm, you're pretty happy with Jeez, this. I think I just heard production crack a monster over there. It was so oh, loud. Oh, man. They're getting into this one. They're so crisp, the way that they sound when you crack them open. Moo and March on the bot lane. They're getting some really efficient harass on them here. King Tekka with the double nuke, double stun. Although Moo turning it around, there's a wand on March, so they're actually baiting that the whole time. Moo? Yeah, I don't know if that's what you want to use on your friend. That's magical damage. Oh, Wisp March is, is going to die. One okay. hit, has the range a stick. creep, he has a stick. He's diving on Moo. Clarity comes out on the Earthshaker. Earthshaker has no items left. Moo keeps... How many times has he used <laughs> that rocket bro? <laughs> Good God. I feel like I'm just constantly hearing just that keeps noise. Keeps on going. Okay, he has oh, a salve on March. No. If he salves March... Okay, he salved March. He did it. Okay, okay. That's good. What a that, God. That is some efficient harass right there. They traded so much, but they salve up. Get the double salve mechanic. Oh, yeah. Look at this Jakiro already gets a damage on this tower, though. That's a oh, Jakiro yeah, player. That is, that is nice. That's some, that's some good stuff. Mm. And Thera picking up an arcane rune. Let me tell you a secret about Jakiro and Liquid Fire. Uh, okay, I'm listening. If you click 
in the dire base there's this statue or a building if you use it wrong on base it, wrong base a dire base yeah that one right there that's yeah that's one it yeah, connects on both towers this uh, uh, observer man detours <laughs> <Yeah>. mid lane brile <laughs> brile on the mid lane oh no okay never mind that's still cl cl close close call there <laughs> we almost missed first blood on the mid lane but we didn't <laughs> God, he doesn't have a mic. God, this oh wizard God. is so pathetic. <laughs> no well, my point he's in the was dungeon. that you can't use it if you're playing dire. So there's no building that connects on both of the towers on the radius. Yeah, it's very side. frustrating. Yeah. Also, don't ever auto click the uh, the liquid fire because you can't use it from as far away. Exactly. You have to manually cast it. It takes more skill, though. It also well, yeah. I it mean. also pulls aggro. The nice yes, double slow true. coming out from forever on the top lane. See, this is this is like, w you know, the difference between these tier twos, uh, like you know, BSJ tier ones, like Grand Grant, is that the tier one players will go for all of the dub double stuns, double nukes that they can, just get the most efficient harass out of these heroes. You know, just playing to the heroes to the absolute max. Oh god damn, what was that? No, oh, he got it. Don't worry, wizard okay, gone. Okay, good, great. Bottom lane, Pugna falls to the gyro in March combo. Mid lane, oh, TA. That's a bottle crushing. already purchased by Io. But this lane is going to be a disaster for them. Jeez. Tekka's walking to the bottom lane. Oh, Bryle. Oh, oh, he dies. Uh, he went pretty big on that one. I mean, that's that that's great for the for the TA. Yeah, got the kill. 250 gold he got for that. He gets the kills, he gets the XP, gets a little trip back to the base. Brow does not get the XP because he was dead. Where's his PA at? How's PA doing? PA's doing pretty well. He's having a lot better game than he had in the last one. Yeah, he's actually getting really farmed to start, which is super important. Against the, the Brewmaster, too. No points in the Drunken Haze. Really? As we've seen from a lot of Brewmasters lately for some reason. Preferring to go for instead just the double thunderclaps and I guess it is more mid lane. Ryle gets Fissure. Lots of good harass coming out on him, but are they going to get two more hits on him? Looks like he's not going to die. Bane on the mid lane, Ooh, nice. however, is going to kill the Earthshaker. Demon chasing up. He can get the five minute bounty rune if Demon keeps Dragon. going. Demon doesn't even have a nightmare. March. They don't know that. March yeah. looking to pick up the bounty rune. Oh, we got it too. That is brutal. Demon wrapping around in the mid lane. This Templar assassin needs to be careful. He does not have nightmare, as you guys said, though. Maybe he can get the brain sap? No, no, he cannot. Kill him with the brain sap. <laughs> On the bot lane, King Tekka getting rocketed. He is decrepified, so he took a lot of damage, but he's immune to the physical. Fortunately for him, Gyro able to dive. You know what they should do? If someone is stupid and you use brain sap on him, you don't heal as much. <laughs> It's, it goes by in mid yeah. lane. <laughs> Brile dying to the Earthshaker who's just oh, sitting in the mid lane. Attempting a tip uh, tilt play here. Definitely the, the player you want to tip if you're looking to do that. The young guys, you know, they can't control their emotions. Moo. Bot lane. Nothing happening. <laughs> okay. And back to you, Jenkins. Uh, good. <laughs> so good farewell stuff. game. Jenkins, yeah, what's your experience with C Dota now that you're going to be moving there? Uh, I mean, I've actually casted it recently with B Cop. Oh, yeah? So uh, how'd that go? Did you find the C region to be any different? It's, en it's entertaining. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I think it's tier 2 scene in SCA is really good. It's pretty it good. I never yeah. get really to good. cast it. Yeah, it's very good. They pick a lot of Tinkers, which is always fun. Oh, they love their Tinker. Their Tinkers and their Meepos. They're all into those. Ryle on the mid lane. Oh, he dodges the... the uh, Fisher. The Fisher. Ends up dying anyway. Bane finally levels up that sleep. A pause. All right. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of crashes happening. Yeah, not having a lot of fun here. But the, the game is a lot closer. You know, the last game, there was that snowball effect of you, you have this brute tank. <laughs> <laughs> what? what is that with his face? What is this with Jacob Shet said? <laughs> oh, those goggles. What, what is he doing? I didn't know that that was a face for Shaker. I guess because it usually has the big glowing eyes instead. 
bot lane. Marge TP's in, gives full regen to the gyro. Frev finally has the point in Drunken Haze, so he's going to make this PA have a little bit harder of a time to last hit bot lane. Here What's the point balls. to get it right now? I have like no idea. Level I, have five. <laughs> uh, I guess he's thinking he's going to get Dove now, and I so he know. wants it for the... When he, she goes for kills with six, but they yeah. actually fort the tower too, so they're really looking to push this with the with J the Jakira liquid fire plus the siege cream. Oh, he misses the totem. Uh, lane gyrocopter taking a lot of damage. What's actually sick there is that this stops move from making any sort of response top possibly too. Yeah, he could TP. He does have the TP available. It's really hard to lane against King Tekken now that he's six. This Pugna hero has a, such a hard power spike as soon as he gets level six. Very easy for him to just sit in this lane and constantly trade his spells to be fully regen. And in terms of mana, too, Wizard, I wish to see top. I want to know how this tower sees this is tower going. is... Thank you, Wizard. You're doing quite well. Damn, dude. Just just forever defending this, but there's not much this that catapult can do. has just been slaying, though. It's just just going. They're, they're actually going on forever behind the tower. He has 16 wand charges, so a bit of a bait here. They want to secure the tower. Last hit comes out from the PA, so PA gets 298 Ooh, gold for wow. that. Primal split coming out. I don't know if that does anything. The Bane is coming in, so if he can get a if he can get a brain sap on the PA, maybe they actually finish him off. I think the PA has to run up, or he's gonna die to the oh, Bane. Oh, nice blink to the range creep. Bane is the brain sap, yeah. and that's. I mean, the thing is, you get 267 gold for it. You all you lose your gyro on the bot lane, though. That's that's the trade off. Totally saw that one coming. Totally. And Lisp they won't decrypt. Chase the decrypt. Yeah, he was uh, he was tethered to the range creep, so like uh, Lacoste was saying so expertly during the draft, he actually gets the ranged creep movement speed, oh. which is 325. Oh. Yeah. Would you would you have guessed that? No. So smart. Gyro coming in has the phase boots. They're gonna chase down on this Earth Shaker, level three in the rocket brush. This is gonna do more than enough damage with those wisp balls. Free pick off, that's the gyro level six. Wisp is one level away from level six, so they'll have that relocate coming out. Brewmaster on the top lane getting chased down by Phantom Assassin. Not an easy hero to, to chase if you're PA though. Yeah. Luckily the daggers can't miss. She'll get six now too. Yeah, lots of uh, XP coming in this tower with those three range creeps. I thought they are going to do better on the bottom lane since uh, we've got that early timing on a blink dagger, but as you mentioned, once Pagana gets Bottled. level six, their kill potential is just so much stronger. Yeah, actually speaking of kill potential, the gyro is heading towards the TA who is farming the Ancients. The refraction comes off. He gets the rocket. I don't think, I don't think the TA knew that they had that no detection. <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess he gets stunned I, I anyway. Mean, he, yeah. he, he got rocketed. I, I think the TA's camera is probably just like up at the ancient, so he didn't yeah. see the gyro. Gyro instantly just uses the rocket barrage on top of him. He probably could have ran there if he was if he was quick. Maybe got some help. Really nice vision from the dire. Look at these wards. Yeah. Perfectly so, covering the whole. The bot lane. That. Gyro getting gone on, but that is Top a wisp lane. saving him. Top lane. There's a. Brewmaster also getting gone on, has 12 seconds left on his ultimate. Earthshaker PA, not the easiest duo to get kills with. Oh, and they're losing all four bounty runes, it looks like. Yep. That's a he that, 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 that right there is the net worth lead. They also Those have bounties. a shrine to connect to. So that's going to heal them up fully. Double damage rune on Brile. This is a perfect time to fight with the Bane Brile combo, and then maybe Wisp can relocate in now that he took that tomb and he's level 6. Home or tomb? Tome, tome. Tome. God damn, I'll never get that right. Doesn't matter. If it had a B, it would be Tomb. I mean, come on now. Oh. We had this discussion, dude. We did. Focus. We did. I'm losing it. Can't just go dropping letters. I'm dropping them. Bot lane. Pugna looking to push with his max nether blast. There's a siege creep, too. Little rough, though, because you go in the gyro with the decrep, and the wisp heals him. Go in the wisp, he just has the movement speed, just walks away. With the Jakiro setup, though, they do have level two in the ice path, level two in the fissure. Oh, that's the Crypify we were talking about. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's a rough life. It's like Green Skellington. Relocate coming in on the mid lane. Grip onto TA. Ralph finishes him off very Where's easily. Where's the tip? That's true. We need the counter tip right there. He's, a, he's above that. He's going to wait till it's a stylish play later on. You know, you, got, you guys said it with Demon. It's like he looked a little shaky. Oh, speaking of shaky, this Wisp is looking dead on the bot lane. But you said that he was, you know, looking a little shaky in the first couple of games, but he set that kill up. I mean, he's, yeah, he's, been he's, great he's today. playing this perfectly. He was he did that solo. 
Uh, right? Because he's got the Wisp, so he doesn't even have anybody to to be ganking with. It's literally just him. So Draken tips Bryle about <laughs> 20 seconds too late. That That is a that is a, a passive aggressive tip if I've ever seen one. Bryle level eight to the Templar Assassins level oh, eleven. Or was it He's a solo kill victory him. tip? Wow, that's oh that's a gut. that's like God. Babe Ruth pointing to the stands right there. Gyrocopter on the bot lane. God Fisher damn. comes out. Frev comes in. They're gonna kill Tekka. This is some next level. That was tipping. the that was the most that next was, level tip I've ever seen in my life. Dude, I'm telling passive aggressive tip to piss him off and then he he, he man fights him. It's a level 11 TA though. It's just to distract him. Like, was that my name on the screen? Did, did I <laughs> did just I? receive tip? Can I afford that relic for Ember now? <laughs> Travels first on Ember. Panthera almost level six. He's about a third of the way there. Stun on Frev. Level two in the aftershock. So he's pretty good at these little small skirmishes here. Pugna TPing in. Brewmaster forced to use his split. This is going to be relatively useless. Gyro is heading over, so if this fight persists, then of course there's going to be some some deaths on the side of the, the Radiant for sure. Dragon dies. Panthera on the sideline. Tekka is there. They have no clap. He decrepts him. They're chasing, though. Brow comes in from the side. Has the Flame Guard. It does not have the chains yet. Okay, he does have the chains. He's not using it. He's saving it. Perhaps to, to continue on King Tekka here, Demon places the ward. He almost gets to sleep. He has the grip. Oh, he almost got it again. There it is. So he's going to grip him. And that is a, that is an easy kill. The grip with Gyro just does so much damage. My life. How much overtime, overtime damage do they have? It's actually so much on these heroes. And they're, they're going to go for a, a fourth kill on the TA. Ownage now. All right, Demon's going to take up the reins here. He's got it. And another tip. From Drake and to Brile. Hmm. They should be able to get uh, this tower on a mid lane, also deep ward play like from a Jimmy. So they're gonna have a vision once they decide to defend it. So uh, we talked about this. This tower is very dangerous to lose if you are the TA team, because of course it secures those ancients. Jakiro trying to defend the tower, trying to deward that ward, make it a little easier to defend. He ends up dying. This is maybe not going to secure the tower because Forever is actually about to die. He's no ulti. MNZ trying to hit him, but Dude, this you're feeble. <laughs> you're <laughs> feebled hitting a target that has mischance. And Demon is actually perfectly fine because MNZ <laughs> is hitting for literally no damage. damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he hits for about 25 damage. Yeah, I, four reductions. I love the build on Jimmy. Like, your brain sap, you're not a tool anymore that you're going to use it as a damage. You're mostly just a save with the Nightmare and Grip. So he's just maxing at Feeble. That's well, level 3 right now. Yeah. It's a TA so and valuable. a PA. Like, yeah. it is one of the best games you're ever going to have for it. It's crazy. Yeah, and uh, I mean, the, the duration scales really nicely, too. Like, you yes. can get it on so many targets if you have that maxed out and Feeble. Um, it's... They don't. They, they really don't need the damage because there's there's the there's the wisp overtime damage. There's the ember. There's the gyro. Speaking of which, they are killing MNZ on the top lane using the ember and the brewmaster. King Tekka forces the split out from Frev. He actually ends up dying. All right, nice ice path from the side there. That's pretty legit. That was a nice ice path. That could have been really bad if uh, he did get that split off. He just purged the crap and kill the Pugna. Oh, so, and Gyro, sorry, Trent, is going for Heaven's Halberd. That's going to give him tankiness, so they're not going to be able to attack. I always love to have a hero, let's say an offlaner, who's willing to go for Heaven's Halberd after he has uh, a lot of farm there, yeah. especially against the, the let's say, Mid lane, Earth relocate coming popular. out on the Templar Assassin. Grip comes out. Gyro TPs right into a ice path. There's heals coming out from King Tekka to the TA. It doesn't matter. That just means King Tekka is probably going to die as well. Ryle coming in. Is he going to survive? No, he's not going to survive. The Wisp gets out as he's about to die. Unfortunately, he takes the Gyro out with him, though. So MNZ and Jakira are perfectly fine in this mid lane. So they get some kills, but no objectives from that. In fact, this Siege Wave is going to die. I so thought that Jimmy was going to... Can we watch BA try and farm it? Let's, yeah. uh... <laughs> I thought that Jimmy was going <laughs> to no, tip him back, during sorry. the Fiend's grip, but uh, it took him a couple of seconds. Yeah. She had the Enfeeble going. It was pretty comical. So uh, this game's over, right? Dire 1. Yeah. Do you guys think Radiant can win I this? I mean, it's two, still 2k lead for J Storm, but the with the heroes the Radiant the, have the, yeah. the big boy, I think, is this Earthshaker picking up that Blink Dagger and about 500 gold. That's where hopefully we're going to see some bait plays. The TA has been dying on her own. That's true. The whole game, 
bait the relocate, get a three or four man echo, and turn the fight, and you can potentially take this game. We've seen the T the PA and TA versus Ember matchup in the late in the hyper late game, and it is very very good, assuming you're not the one getting focused. If she can pick up the BKB on the TA. There's definitely potential here, but it really rides on this Earthshaker. I don't know what you guys think, but I, re I really think that if the Earthshaker doesn't hit a big echo, they're just going to lose this game. Yeah. Jakiro can't do anything when you're playing from behind. Oh, God, no. That's one of those here. Yeah, actually do nothing. Yeah. Like, you have to hope that someone else will start a fight and, like, or someone takes a bad jump onto one of your cores that you're baiting and maybe you'll hit an ice path. Like, it's so hard. Yeah. Maybe you'll get some levels, and then you could start playing the game. Like, you need a Yules if you're behind. It's the only way you can play the hero. Is Brown Boots three centuries a ward a wand? So that Yules is not soon. The smoke. He's not having that great of a time. MNZ on the top lane, playing very, very aggressively. Do they have vision of this Bane? Why, why is he... They do indeed know where the Bane is, so he's not afraid on MNZ. Which presumably is why Demon just presses the his D ward down, because... You know that if PA is playing up, that there's some vision of you somewhere because yeah. there's no way he plays up there. If, if Brow pushes him out of the top lane on the mid lane, Demon looks for a grip target, and Pugna uses the decrep on himself. Actually saves himself from those pandas. Echo slam on two on the wisp, oh, but he oh, can't get grip. it up. He can't get the combo off. The grip. Moving in. Uses yeah. the rocket. That was nice pick in the back though. They got March. Uh, it's just March though. You know he did his job. He did his job. He's okay with this. Yeah. They head over to MNZ. They see him. He's walking on some sort of vision. Forever gets the stomp off. Brile has no mana for the flame guard. Yeah. If there's some oh, way, he's oh, giving oh, that was the nice. ice pad. That was nice. Oh. All right. He, that was courier as well. Yeah. If he dies here, it doesn't matter. That was really cool. Forev can just use the stomp and one mana to kill him. Or oh, just they lost the courier though. <laughs> that was pretty sweet though. Yeah. That was pretty sweet. That's some nice team play. And the, the play that they could go for is try to sneak into the Roche pit, get the Aegis, maybe drag this game. They have a PA, they have a TA Pugna, Jakiro. They can defend the base. That was a pretty formidable echo to start. You know, yeah. it was it was good. Unfortunately, oh, Bane on the mid lane, though. Demon is getting caught out. It's just teeping right in vision in front of an Earthshaker who has the Blink Dagger. It's a good way to get yourself killed, my friend. I think you talked about how Pagna, when Lem plays it, always goes for Glimmer Cave just to keep himself alive. Yeah. yeah. Like, this is a cheap item. Most of the time, you think the position 4 or 5 needs to buy him, but it's very efficient. It's uh, it's basically like a Shadow Blade for interior. Yeah, if you don't of. right click. Yeah, it's it's really, really nice. I think the duration is pretty awful. Yeah. It feels like this Pugna hero doesn't really need item Like... His skills already do a lot, and you just need to buy items that, I guess, that suit kind of the game, right? Yeah, yeah, they keep him alive. Or if you don't have to care about that. Three seconds. Relo split. Relocate coming out in the back line. Split. The brew buys back. He does have the split. King Tekka dies. The TA blows up as well. The Earthshaker gets saved by his Jakiro with a nice ice path. He supports are having a pretty good time, but. The cores are not. Unfortunately for J Storm, they have to buy back on the brew. So that actually is a gold lead for J Storm. No, a well, gold gain. a gold gain, I should in say, that fight. for Braxton. Oh, you, you got the me there, right. Jenkins. I got you. So BKB is finished on a gyro. Has that Heaven's Halberd, which makes this game a lot easier for them. At one point, he can just disassemble it uh, by S and Y and uh, build the butterfly. Panthera on the bot lane. Looks like he's about to just die to the Gyro, who is now godlike. Oh. Uh, it was pretty uneventful. Who is that? Top lane. Everybody on the Radiant side TPing in. There's a Ice Path that comes out on the Brew Pandas. Bane ends up dying. Pugna on the back line is handled, as Grant would say. Handled. Coming in with the BKB, using all of his AoE abilities, doing a lot of damage. The screen is covered in things, but at this point it's just the TA invis blinks out. You're not going to be a play-by-play -play in SCA, I, definitely. I, I, you I need God, to step I, up, I hope, Jenkins. I hope not. <laughs> this is exhausting, man. <laughs> Alright, Earthshaker TPing in on the top lane. Look at... Look, okay, uh, let's see, LaCosta. What do you think about this play that's happening right now on on the uh, Pugna? This is actually my job as well. Grip coming Come out on Pugna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ember Spirit uses the 
Steering chains on the Earth Shaker does not get the Echo Slam Can we off. come back down from orbit? Thank you. <laughs> King Tekka about to die. He keeps using the Decrep on himself, but it doesn't matter because that's a bunch of magical damage on the enemy team. What are you doing, buddy? There you go. And we're going to analyze this fight. Okay, okay that's good. Pretty, pretty nice setup from Jimmy. Already placed that uh, deep ward between Tier 1 and Tier 2 tower. That's what he likes to do, even without a smoke. First, he gets rid of the vision here. Then continues to d just dominate the whole map. This dominate. Jim Jimmy guy has been on point. Oh, hello. Five burn charges. Oh, there he is. Reload. Oh, Who that Templar Bane, assassin is about to get shredded. Demon Dodo with the setups. And you know what? Those are his wards, too. Yep. So he he was, uh, like you said, he's placing those wards. And honestly, this this game is kind of like, it's kind of on him, man. He's, he's carrying this really hard. Ooh, on the top lane. The PA is not able to BKB, gets decrep, but once again, that's a lot of magical damage. Pugna's trying to kill the Wisp. He is dying to the Brewmaster, taunting a little bit on the Pugna. Where did he go? He got nightmared. He decrept himself once again, you taking a lot of magic Jimmy. damage. He's dying to the urn, dying to the, dying to the, all, the all the magic. The Pugna doesn't feel like it's that great when you're playing against 20,000 magical burst damage. How about the improvement in March's IO from day one to now? Hey, man. That's why he's picking it. a lot better on the IO. That's yeah. why he's picking it. He's owning. What better place to practice it than in a in a real live tournament? That's right. You know the pressure's on. Exactly. You can't be uh, forsaken your games. You know. No. No. Oh, he even bought Mask of Madness on Gyro, so he's gonna disassemble both Mask of Madness, Heaven's Halberd, and only yeah. gonna need Eagle Song for Butterfly. And he's buying an S and Y to go with He's gonna get a Satanic there. eventually as well. This is like real efficient item decisions. Yeah, it's coming insanely from there. efficient. This is real nice. If there's any little improvements you can do in a game, this is uh, this is one of them. No matter who you are, you're probably not doing this. They're trying to defend this. They have the Echo Slam on the Earth Shaker, but I don't know who they echo. Well, maybe Frev, because he doesn't have the split. He just comes out of it. Gyrocopter's getting kept alive by the Wisp. The Wisp on the back line looks like he's about to die. Bryle goes in on the Pugna, who decreps himself again and ends up dying. Fab says no BKB, and he is dead. These two cores don't seem like they're doing anything at all. And I should say three cores, actually. They all feel so completely useless. They have a third core? They've, yeah, they have three, actually. Oh, oh, that Pugna guy down below the aisle. Oh, okay. So let me, let me ask you a question. If you're a TA and you see an Ember Spirit Gyro on the enemy team, how do you build differently where you're not just going to relentlessly feed in the mid-game? The moment you go to the mid-game against these heroes, you're going to die, right? The Grip, the Ember... Yes. I mean, they were like, what here, do you do? here is the, the IO, Tono, Tono, and they charge them, ah! Do you, the item them. build is pretty much always the same. You go for either Blink Dagger or just Deso and just swap, swap those things around. But if you have enough damage and you need to adapt, maybe a four staff would be better just to keep yourself alive so you can get out of that route in this game, it, I don't think it would have mattered. Maybe played a little differently? Yeah, like they, they were playing really aggressively. I, I feel like there wasn't a huge understanding coming out of Braxton of quite the amount of kill potential there was with just the Bane setup. Like so many times we saw the Bane set up on two or three heroes alone and then yeah. the full roster of J Storm comes in afterwards and just annihilates them. And it's literally just the Bane setting up. Uh, so maybe there's just more split pushing that needs to be done uh, in order to avoid that you know you don't just walk into lanes you kind of be a little a little quicker about things not as aggressive it was a very snowball kind of draft I feel like they just kind of missed their timing where it could have worked i guess uh it looked very risky with the pa especially yeah or sorry the ta in the end but the pa even picked up that early with no buff hero i think is always kind of odd with it with a pa i feel like you want that ogre or even like an io or um anything like that that can give some sort of a boost to the hero yeah she's just kind of that definitely w that definitely would make up for the fact as well that you're playing against a bunch of counters. I think we've seen the TA do very well when there's heroes that can actually complement the TA and when they're in the position to do so. Uh, but unfortunately, when you have, like you said, a snowball against you, it's very, very hard to um, even have heroes that are capable of buffing you be in the position where they can complement you, you know? Yeah. I because think the... Oh, sorry. No, no. Um, I think the point of playing a TA is you need to play around her, you need to pressure the other lanes, uh, leave TA unaffected. If you just kill her once or twice, it really cripples her. Same goes for Meepo, she loses way 
way more than other heroes and also once the tier 1 tower dies then she does not have enough space to farm you can easily access her jungle she wants to be the one that uh, especially the radiant TA to kill the tier 1 tower then have the access to the dire jungle especially ancients yeah for sure do we do we have uh, any word of a of a call in from the the winners of the uh okay oh, sweet so we we're going be. we got demon oh Okay. All right. Uh, is he going to be ready <laughs> soon, or what's the deal on that? Oh, he's coming. He's on his way right now. Well, uh, while we wait for old old Jimmy, uh, it looks like it'll be Braxstone and Runes coming up next. So looking forward to that. See how Braxstone does. But uh, yeah. So uh, Jim, Jimmy, are you there? He's going to okay. let us know when well, we're there. We'll the Great Beyond. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. That's what I want. God to hear. will inform us. Poor production. We're putting him through the ringer today. <laughs> This is what happens when there's no one left on the couch. That uh, like if if Dakota's over here, our wizard, you know, he has a better sense as to what's going on. But he's been banished. So, I mean, condolences. He's over there playing Lords Mobile. I can see him on his phone. <laughs> how's it going <laughs> over there, wizard? How's yeah. how's that kingdom? Yeah, it's pillaging. It's so annoying when, so when somebody's on when somebody's doing the camera. They're just playing Lords Mobile. Like we're just losing. That our explains advantage. so much of the the morphling kills too. All right, I think we have Demon in here. Jimmy, you there? Oh, mate, wait, hold on, Jenkins, you have him muted. For, don't forget. Oh, okay. Oh, Jimmy, we need you. Uh, uh, you can talk to the rest of us. You there? You there? So how's it going, Jimmy? Like this was a really nice victory. Just kidding. We don't have Jimmy yet. It's a lie. It was a joke because you have Jimmy muted. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, your mic's Jimmy, not working. You're All right, now that's good. No, Supposedly he can hear us, but you can hear us. We can't hear him. We could just like load out all the questions right at the start, and you can just speed answer all of them when the mic starts working. That sounds very complicated. Jimmy, you just keep yelling stuff, and we hear you, we hear you, and then we'll be good to go. That's the strat right there. What kind of questions so. are we gonna ask him, guys? Oh, we think we might have it. I I got I got I got some questions. He's got questions. Good. I've got a lot I don't, of I don't I have any questions. I got, I got a lot of questions. <laughs> is that Jimmy Hello. right here? Hello? What? Is that me? Can you hey, hear me? Hey, there you are. Hey, howdy. Hey. hey Jimmy. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this interview, man, but you know, the, the team didn't want to do it. Stand in <laughs> interview. It's they, perfect. They said it's my uh, exit interview. I'm oh. done with the pro scene again. Second time. Oh, is it? Uh, yeah. I mean, that was a nice performance, Jimmy, in both, both of your games. Uh, very... Very good, considering uh, the day one it looked a little bit shaky. We had a chat with Marge. He said that uh, he gave you a couple of advices, what to do, what uh, <laughs> you need to do with the team. But uh, what uh, I want to ask you is, uh, you always found a way to sneak in into a team, I know from my experience. Uh, so is this <laughs> what's going to happen? Uh, I know you hate people, and not hate, you don't like people from Balkan region. So are you going to get rid of the Milan and uh, hop in on Team J Storm? <laughs> you know um, I love no, you, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> no, those are some good stories then. But um, no, man, I'm, I'm I'm done, man. I'm done with the pro scene as a player. Completely done. I was just I'm coaching the team, so you still just, have it. Uh, I mean, the, oh, I mean, this is actually a fun team to play with and all. But you're, I co just, you're coaching J Storm. Yeah. Awesome. Sweet. So oh, for myself, just, that, that that's why sense. I'm just. Standing in for them, and I really didn't want to play, but March was just like, "Who else are we gonna use?" And use their coach. And, yeah. I like it. That's good. Keep you on your toes. You, you were looking real solid on the bane there. T tons of nightmares, perfect setups, locations. Uh, I, I liked your gank wraparounds earlier too, like yeah, through that mid nice. lane. Yeah, looking yeah, solid. Thanks. As you were saying, or what LC was saying, just uh, or Lacoste, just um, day one was just a little rough because it feels weird, like. I played a lot of pubs and just I had this pub mentality yeah. for a long time and transitioning back to a team where it's just people will listen and you don't have Peruvians or you know whatever it's throwers and shit so all in all just after like that day you know we talked about it just play my own style rather than just overthinking about the game Jimmy give me I had your, a lack of confidence Jimmy too. give me your insight what happened in the first game with uh, that morphling like that was some funny shit to watch <laughs> Uh, we were, I mean, that 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 game, we were just all shits and giggles, man. We were just, like, giggling over, like, we couldn't take the game serious because of what Morphling was doing, so we yeah. don't even know what was going on. So I want to know what, like, what Forever was saying during that uh, time. He, like. he just kept screaming some, like, 
just, I don't know, because, you know, his English isn't the greatest, so it was just kind of funny. <laughs> and it, it made it more hilarious, too, because he would just have these moments, and I don't even know what he's saying sometimes, and it's just, it makes it hilarious. It's comedic all around. But for the most part, he's just like, what the, like, what the hell, or, I don't know, but he has his own, you know, distinct language, or, like, his, yeah, his English is just funny. That's all, man. He was yeah. just screaming random things. There, there were definitely some questions as to what was happening that morphling because he, he just kept going back there. He was not taking <laughs> no had, or death for an he answer. Had, he had radiance in his quick buy, then like <laughs> mechanism, then arm with Kaya, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so my boy, like my boy pub, Jenkins man. has a question for you. A couple of them, sure. actually. I do. Okay. What value do you see in playing pubs? As as a competitive player, like what what is the value that that I guess that, like everybody thinks differently about this, but like what value do like your teammates and your team? What do you guys pull out of pubs? I mean, for myself, it's it varies. It just really depends on who I play with and the kind of mood I decide that I'm in. Like if I know I'm with like competent players, um, I know I can work. Like if I'm landing with like Arteezy or Moo, like all these players that are in the pro scene, I actually try hard and like look at like how to play the lane correctly and how to like. Micro, I don't really want to micromanage people, but just like how to lane secure as as a support player. Yeah. Um, and you just like look at favorable lane matchups, and you can't really counter pick because you're a support player, so you have to generally first pick. But you want to have like an open pick, and with like you know how the meta is kind of played now, you just need some sort of tanky support. Yeah. So would you say like the value of MMR is that you would get to play with the the moves and like the Masons and the the players and like get that sort of practice? Yeah, I mean, I, I personally think it's pretty decent practice. I mean, like, um, for example, like, me and Moo have played a lot of pubs together, and we used to be former teammates back in Complexity. So we had synergy, like, when we'd lane together. But then I'd lane with Forev, and I've never laned with them before. And it was just, like, um, we had a lot of miscommunication. It just shows, and we I, in pubs, I never laned with them either. And it just yeah. shows, like, the synergy that we had, like, me, me and Moo were like talking about well that was like back in 2015 but we still have a little bit of chemistry but like I said we us playing pubs together it actually helps and this was before like I was coaching them or anything it was just I try with competent players and yeah. it's just we have this idea of like how to play and that's all yeah and at the very least you like get an idea of like who you can play with and stuff okay yeah. one more one more question and uh if you don't want to answer it I understand because it's it's like a drafting question but how much do comfort picks play into the draft i guess with you standing in uh how much how much to comfort picks picks play like would you change the draft with you standing in or is it, it would you pick like the relatively the same stuff barring like the specialty heroes maybe like the phoenix oh though they definitely um i have a very small hero pool these days so i mean i i had a priority and wh whoever i wanted to play march was going to pick it for me that's what it really came down to and when it came down to options i said like these two are the best or these three are the best that, that's it you know and like the first day you saw like i was playing the shaman because it's my comfort heroes but it doesn't fit in this meta at all just like how this like the lane setup yeah. works out um and obviously just i had a lack of confidence on day one and then like the rest of these games i just played with my other comfort heroes and i pretty much had like my pick was just like whoever you wanted i can play yeah okay i guess whoever you think fits. i guess one more question as a follow-up to that what about like in the long run for a team what do you think is better like picking com comfort picks or trying to play like what the best heroes are in the meta uh it's um i think it's a mixture of both right it's just like you got to go with comfort picks and what also fits in the meta to a degree but i mean if you go a little bit out of the comfort zone you can't go like I mean, I mean, think no tail said it best, right? It's like you can't go half full, full. So you gotta go full retard sometimes and just try your best yeah. on or do your best. I think just like the team, I think the team synergy and the chemistry that you have within the team, you know, the unity, um, yeah. I think matters a lot more. But obviously, like, um, you have to be like good with the hero still if you're out of the comfort. Like, if it's just too uncomfortable and it just doesn't fit with the play style, then obviously it wouldn't work out. Right? Yeah. But ideally, if, like, you fit with the comfort heroes or comfort zone, then it's just, you just fit play you just play better overall because you know, yeah. like, this hero inside and out and you know the lane matchups or whatever it may be. It's a delicate balance, man, I'll tell you, <laughs> tell you that. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Demon, for coming in for the interview. Really appreciate it. And uh, good luck in uh, your future endeavors there, uh, Coach Demon. Yeah, man. Thanks for have, having me. It was a fun tournament. It's finished off 13-2, I think, right? Yeah. Got him. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Cool. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye Jimmy. Jimmy. Okay, well, that was Jimmy, currently standing in, slash coach for Jay Storm. So. He's, he's an eloquent speaker, isn't he? Oh, he's done this stuff, you know. Him and Brax, I could just listen to forever. Maybe not in pubs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could just listen to forever. <laughs> but I mean, when they're talking right, about like you, the perfect. competitive stuff, it's yeah. like they're just... Uh -huh.
When I first heard the name Braxton, I thought that's Braxton. Yeah, same. Yeah, of course. Yeah, very disappointed to find out that I was like, wait, that's not even the same region. What's Come going on. on here? Yeah. Your name's Braxton. You don't have Brax? Okay, back to you, Jenkins. Uh, <laughs> all right, wrapping it up. For, wrapping it up. Uh, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Braxstone runes next. The next game is the next game is to be Braxstone versus runes. And thanks for having me, guys. I'm out of here. Well, there's King and everything, and I'll see you guys later. See, production, you can take it off. Thanks, Jenkins. Bye, Jenkins. <laughs> see ya.